uh, Luke, you're fighting, um, is it this Saturday over in Denmark? Yeah, this Saturday, uh, fly out Monday. And me and Alex fly out Monday and uh, yeah, we'll be for, there for the press conference on Tuesday and then fight on Saturday. Now, you skipped a uh, rank, I think, in league number 29 in the world? Yeah, he's got a good world ranking, so obviously that's, you know, that's what I want. Let me see how you pronounce it. Is it Lemon Chico Mock? Mock, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's, he's been around the block. He's, you know, he's fought everyone. He's a big puncher. You know, he's heavy handed, you know, so we'll have to be careful. But me and one man, we've, we've, we've worked on a good game plan. You know, I've grafted in this training camp. I've been in Germany for three weeks, sparring Zuj. Done like 46 rounds sparring, you know, straight after my last fight three weeks ago. Which, I would say you thought that uh, was it all a finger drop? Um, yeah. And that was at Bolton. And, you know, it was a fight that we were expected to win, but you did it and you did it in style, mate. Yeah, but I needed a, after the camp fight, I had a six month fight in the ring, so I needed a run out, you know, so that's what I got. I had a run out fight and then I went straight to Germany, had some world class sparring with. Because uh, it really was straight to Germany, you had the fight on the Saturday and you yeah. flew out there on the, on the uh, Monday. On Monday and, and young Jack Flatley. Uh, yeah, both out there. Was, yeah, so it was good from both of me and Jack, you know, we've got some top sparring, I did a lot of sparring. And uh, I got the opportunity to go to Denmark on the 17th. But this know. guy, this is going to be his 55th fight against you. And I think you were one year old. Well, not, you were even one year old when he made his pro debut. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's mad. But, you know, I'm going, you know, I'm not going to underestimate him. You know, he's, he's, he's an experienced fighter. You know, obviously I'm going to his... He's guarded. Well, he's, he's number two in Denmark, isn't he? Yeah. I don't think he's been beaten in almost four years. And the last guy to beat him was a guy who beat you as well, and it's Copeland. Yeah, that's right, yeah. And he dropped heavy Copeland. I watched the footage, you know, I watched the fight. You know, he's, he is a good fight. It's going to be a war. I mean, he's a forward, aggressive fighter, big puncher. He's fought everyone. He's fought David A. Dropped David A. Mm -hmm. You know, so he's a right dangerous fucker, but, you know, I've drafted for this fight. I've grafted for it and uh, yeah, I'm confident, you know, I'm gonna go to Denmark and you know, I'm gonna do a number on him. Well it's a place that's been counting on a couple of occasions before I think of, before the Scotland fight, didn't you go over there and win? Yeah. Or is that I've, Sweden? I fought in Denmark twice, I fought uh Mad Larson and I fought Eric Scotland, you know, so you know, by by taking these risky fights, you know, it's given me more opportunities and that's what it's about, you know, it's about taking risks. You know, and uh, you know, it's about getting big fights and big paydays. You know, I, that's what I love. I love to fight. So. Well, these are the things that you you get up for. This yeah. is the old one. And, and like I say, was a little bit worried in the last fight because I thought you might have underestimated your opponent and not per perhaps performed as well as you could have done. And uh, I was wrong. You, you know, you went out there no. and you, you destroyed the kid. That, yeah. You know, you should have destroyed, but you did do it, and you yeah. did do it in style. And I won't be underestimating no one now, because obviously I did that when I got a run-out fight uh, last year it's against Elvis. Yeah, and I you know, switched off, dropped my hand, and then just got caught with you know, right hand, and you know, flash knockdown. But yeah, I did well to recover from it, and I, you know, I won't be making that mistake twice. Is there anything on the line for this fight, mate? Yeah, I think there's a title on the line. I'm just waiting for it to get confirmed, but I think it's a WBO. Mm -hmm. Basically, you know, they're, they're using me for 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 a warm-up fight for him to for him to get a world title shot. Yeah. But you know, you, you know that they've tried. You know, people have tried that in the past, and I fucked up, fucked up the plans. You know, and I'm you know ready for this fight. You know, so me and my team are confident. Yeah, no, you, you had a long camp for that last fight, even though you didn't need it for that fight, but it's actually going to be standing in good stead for this one. Yeah. Because this guy, he's got a better uh, world ranking than Rocky Fielding and a couple of other people are British fighters. Yeah, you know, like I've been out sparring world champion Zuj. Zuj is fighting Smith, you know, I'm fighting uh, Mark, who's got a world, his ranking better than Smith, mm -hmm. you know, so. But everything's worked out perfect because obviously all the sparring I've just had is perfect for this fight. You know, I was sparring Zoos and I was sparring the top world class amateur 
who's an unbeaten pro. I know, I know at the uh, end of the last fight when I spoke to you after you, win, you, uh, you won, uh, you were talking about the possibilities of moving down to middleweight. Is that something that you're still going to consider? Yeah, well, I would have, you know, if this opportunity didn't come up, I would have moved to middleweight and I would have been fighting at middleweight, but, you know... It's a uh, good opportunity to you know, it's a good opportunity and, uh, yeah. And how can anyone get to watch this fight? Hopefully, it could, you know, it could be on Box Nation, I'm not too sure, but when I'm over in Germany on Monday, you know, I'll, I'll tweet and let people know on social media. But I just obviously want to thank all my uh, sponsors, AJ Wood and everyone, you know, you know, giving me loads of support. I know my team, you know, Alex, who come over to, to Germany and trained me, you know, left his family and come over and trained me for this How long was Alex over there with you? Alex was over there for a, a week, but you know, he, you know, he, you know, I need to, you know, thank him and everyone who's put a lot of work and time into me and all my support, what I get off everyone. And uh, yeah, I want to, I want to do this for ev everyone who's, you know, shown me a lot. Of any, any predictions, mate? You know, as long as I go over there, and, you know, do what Black Ledge does, you know, I'll get the win. So well, good luck for next Saturday, mate. And yeah. Uh, like I say, if it is a title, hopefully I'll be told to you with a, a new belt around your waist. Yeah, nice one, Lee. Cheers, mate. Alright, Lee. Take care, mate. Bye-bye. Cheers, mate. Bye.